Congress? How is he a threat to the Republic? Why is he in jail for four years? Shut up! Pull that show off the air! They won't answer any questions. But we have a question, which is how in a free country guided by the Constitution were these people allowed to withhold evidence from Jacob Chansley's lawyer? How could that happen? Albert Watkins represented Jacob Chansley at his trial. He had not seen that video evidence until we broadcast it on Monday, and we're happy to have him join us now. Mr. Watkins, thank you for coming on. If you could just well, restate you. clearly, just to make sure that, you know, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Had you seen that clearly exculpatory tape of your client at trial? No. We went through extraordinary efforts on behalf of our client to put him in a position of knowledge. That's my duty as an agent of the court, to make sure that he knew everything that the government had, good and bad, to put him in that position to make a learned, informed, voluntary decision about whether to go to trial or take a plea. And remember, this is a man who had tremendous intelligence, very gentle, very, very articulate, who was diagnosed 15 years earlier by the, by the government with a mental health issue. And the government knew that. The government knew through three hearings when we begged and pleaded to get this man out of solitary confinement, literally falling into an abyss mentally. And through each of those three hearings, that government assistant U.S. attorney knew the most important aspect of that hearing was that Jake was not violent. The government knew. They knew that Jake had walked around with all of these police officers. They had that video footage. I didn't get it. It wasn't disclosed to me. It wasn't provided to me. I requested it. I filed the requisite pleadings for it. And whether I did or not, they had a duty, an absolute duty with zero discretion to provide it to me so that I could share it with my client. I never so, so got very, it. very simple question. This is, it's shocking that this could happen and happen with the knowledge of Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger and Chuck Schumer and all the ghouls around the story. How can this man still be in prison tonight? He's still in jail tonight, right now. Well, it's a tragedy. I mean, what's happened is truly a dagger in the heart of our American justice system. We can't, we can't allow it. And but for you disclosing it, and whether it, this isn't about you, this isn't about January 6th. This is, about our, this is about our justice system being so compromised. The very integrity and core of that which we wore as a badge of honor for, for the entirety of our nation's history has been rendered a vile, disgusting mess by a Department of Justice that was running amok. And they didn't share the video of my client, the footage of my client with nine officers surrounding him, peacefully wandering about, trying to help him, trying to get him access to the, the, the Senate chamber. They didn't because it didn't fit their narrative. And but for you disclosing it, uh, I don't know where we'd be. Yeah, why I mean, I, it is, why they're attacking you makes no sense at all. Because by doing that, they're shrouding in secrecy, or trying to, their own assault on democracy. Yeah, I mean, it's dogs barking to me. I, speaking for myself, I don't care at all. But I, I feel for this man who I've never met sitting in jail tonight. I mean, it's, it's really he's, beyond he's a He is a tremendous, intelligent, peaceful man. Albert Watkins, his former attorney. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it.